All right guys, how's it going? Last year, I made a video on how to install Android P beta on your Essential phone. And, well, I mean, for one thing, it was a bad video, you know. Gotten a little better at making them since then, but the process was just terrible. It was just very hard. So last year, it took me hours of troubleshooting, you know, researching, so many errors that I, it took me so long to resolve. It was just a nightmare. And this year, Google has improved it so much. So this is just a very quick tutorial on the new, very simple way to get Android Q beta on your essential phone. So let's jump right into it. I'm gonna switch over to voiceover mode. All right, so the very first step is we're going to go to this website on screen. You go click on Get on Google Play. You will download this app, Essential Q Beta. And uh, so I'll just speed that up real quick. Once that's finished installing, you're going to open it. You're going to see this screen, Essential Q Beta. Just click Agree to these terms. And uh, not click the link. Agree. Agree. And then you will click join the beta. Then you have to enable phone access. So click allow on that. And then put in a little bit of information. And once you're done with that, you click done. So, you know, thanks for trying Android Q, you know, it's for developers. And you'll get this screen. It says you're enrolled in the beta. Now, I was kind of confused by this at first. I was thinking, okay, so where is my beta? You know, this is weird. So, uh, you know, I went and looked a couple things up. Uh, I tried checking for updates, and I was like, well, it says I'm up to date. I was kind of worried that it wasn't going to work at this point and I was going to have to do it like last time. But then I got a notification that I had an update and here it is, Q Beta 3, Android 10. So all I'm going to do here is, you know, if you look, upgrade your device to Q, install a beta version of Q, pre-release may have errors, but yeah, download this at your own risk. Uh, here we have it's downloading and this actually did take a while. You're seeing this in 3,000% uh, speed. So let's give that a second. Or two, maybe two seconds. Okay, now it starts booting up after that's complete. And here is when it kind of first opens up. You see the little essential logo splitting off and it opens. Here, see that the font on the time has changed actually. I noticed that immediately. And uh, so I just swipe up, put in my uh, passcode and it says phone is starting so you know this usually you know only takes a second after you're done restarting your phone but this took a bit so let's speed it up here mm -hmm. and it turned on and then turned off again resetting so now it opened up again. We're back to the home screen. And back to phone starting, you know, give it another minute or so. Speeding it up. 
and here we are. This is Android Q right here. See, I mean, nothing's changed from my usual home screen. I'm running Nova Launcher, but I did have to disable that because it new versions of the OS don't play well with, you know, launchers. So we see the Android Q, you see the little logo. Say, congratulations, it's been updated to Android P. That was a little perplexing. But this is Q, as you can see from there. And you know, apparently that uh, restart thing was a bug. Not really sure what that was. Here you see Essential Beta Program. This device is enrolled in the Android Q beta for the Essential Phone, so some features may be missing or may not work. This beta is intended for... Oh, it's, it's over. Uh, never mind. Uh, here we I'll find dark mode. Show you guys that real quick. And yeah, you can see we have fully functioning Android Q here. And we're done. That's it. It's installed. All right, so I wasn't lying, was I? That was pretty easy, especially compared to the nightmare that was last year's method for install. And uh, if you had any problems with the installation or any, you know, you just have any questions about Android Q in general, uh, you can leave a comment down below. I respond to basically every comment I get. And uh, you know, if you have, you know, want to see more of an in-depth look at you know, the stability, the features. I'll be making a video on just like the state of Android Q and that should be, you know, as soon as I finish it, I'll post it. I just need to spend a little bit more time with Q before I can get, you know, the kind of final feel and figure out how stable it is and stuff. And uh, so if you're looking forward to that, then that's good. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't like it, and subscribing is always appreciated. Bye, guys.